Welcome everybody to what is absolutely the most important test known to man. Where can you purchase the best chicken Kiev? Repping for Tesco, four frozen chicken Kievs. And two non-frozen chicken Kievs. Repping the branded products, Bernard Matthews. Repping Lidl, Red Hen, four frozen Kievs. And finally, repping Aldi, Four frozen Kievs, two non-frozen Kievs, ten mini non-frozen Kievs, uh, and that's it. To make our test fair, we've gone with the bog standard garlic and herb flavour chicken Kievs. As you can imagine, they all have different cooking times, so we're going to start with the big three frozen ones. We're going to put them in alphabetical order, so the Audi one, Lidl, Tesco. Then in about 10 minutes, we'll put in the non-frozen ones. Right, they've been in there 10 minutes, so now it's time to put in the non-frozen ones. So once again, alphabetical order, Aldi. And then Tesco. Right, time for the final Kievs. Once again, we'll go in alphabetical order, so Aldi mini Kiev. And Bernard's mini Kievs. We'll, uh, we'll just do two of each. Time to get them out. Here we are. The first ones. That Tesco one, that's bubbled up really nicely. So these are the frozen ones Audi, Lidl, Tesco. And these are the non frozen ones. So Audi. Tesco, that Tesco one's burst. They look gorgeous. Look at all that juice. Finally, the mini Kievs, Audi and Bernard's. So it's time to plate them up. Straight. Audi. Lidl, Tesco, and then Audi, and then another Tesco, and then over here we've got the mini ones, so the Bernard Matthews, and the Aldis. So, Audi frozen, Lidl frozen, Tesco frozen, Tesco non-frozen, Audi non-frozen, and then two Audi and two Bernards. So I'm going to start with the Tesco non-frozen one. Open that up. So not a huge amount of juice that mostly leaked out onto the foil, but we shall give it a taste. Get a bit onto the fork. Mmm. That is actually very good. The chicken is nice and juicy, uh, not dry like you do get with some Kievs. Um, breadcrumbs are basic, bit oily, but overall. Seven and a half out of ten. Palate cleanser. Next up, I'm going to try Tesco's frozen Kiev. So we shall cut down the middle. Ooh, quite tightly together, that, which means there should be quite a lot of juice. And there is plenty of juice in here. Let's give it a taste test. Look good. Hmm, noticeably different. Um, despite the juice staying in there, it's nowhere near as juicy. Chicken's quite dry. And the herbs, and garlic you couldn't really taste it it's quite quite bland so 
Definitely the non-frozen Tesco one's better. Next up is Lidl's Frozen Kiev. The only one that I can actually find in my local Lidl. Let's have a look. No, not very juicy at all. What I can tell, it's uh, a fork on it. Not much juice, though it has stayed together quite well. Um, so there's a chicken breast, it's quite firm. Yeah, no, look at that, really quite dry. Let's give it a taste test. No. Not good at all. Um, very, very bland, very dry. Tastes more or less like a cheap chicken burger, really. Three out of 10. Next up is the frozen Audi one. Unfortunately, I've just done this and the recording disappeared, so I can't recut it. However, you can see inside that it is quite oh, a bit, not very juicy, quite dry. A little bit of sauce though, more than the little one. So, we should give it a try. Mm. That is a lot more flavoursome than the frozen little one and a lot more juicy as well. Next up we have Audi's Unfrozen Chicken Kiev. We cut it open. Oh, it's really quite tough. Oh, look at that. Yes, much more herby. Looking quite juicy too. Let's give it a taste. All right. Oh, that's a very different taste from the other ones I've tried. Um, it's actually almost ever so slightly minty. Uh, quite juicy. But also not really what I was expecting. So I think four and a half out of ten. Yeah, so the audio for this clip didn't record for some stupid, strange reason. Uh, so I'm talking to you in voiceover. Anyway, this one is the mini non-frozen chicken Kiev from Audi. Alright, let's pop it in. Mm, about average. Um, kind of dry, I think, once again. Probably another four and a half, uh, as with all the Audi ones. And finally, it's Bird of Matthews Mini One. Very stiff, that. Oh dear. Not very juicy at all. But we shall see what the taste test of the Bernard Matthews one tells us. Bland, but not dry. So, four. Little Red Hen. These were dry and bland, uh, but they were cheap. Still, overall, only a two out of ten. The Audi frozen ones were better than the little frozen ones, although they were about the same price, so much better deal. The Tesco frozen ones were quite good. The chicken was a bit dry, which was sort of the main problem. Uh, a little bit more expensive than Audi and Lidl. The Audi fresh ones, the minty aftertaste was sort of a nice addition, and on reflection, I'd actually give them a 5 out of 10. The Tesco fresh ones, these were absolutely the best, are still a 7.5 out of 10, but they were more expensive than the others by far. The Audi fresh mini ones, uh, like all mini Kievs, you didn't really get much juice, but they did taste okay. The Bernard Matthews frozen ones, um, they were a lot better than I was expecting, but overall just that sort of eh. However, we're not finished. The Co-op, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Asda, Waitrose and M&S all still need to compete. So hopefully I will get around to doing a video on that soon, um, or at least at some point anyway. But for now, that's it. So, um, bye.